everyone so today i'm going to be filming a week in active wear slash gym looks for you i'm making it active wear as well as gym just in case you don't go to the gym but you like wearing leggings and a sports top because let's face it it's comfy it's really comfy and this is a great excuse for me to not fully get dressed today so i'm really excited about this one so i'm going to be showing you seven active wear gym looks and i'll let you know what i think they're most appropriate for but obviously you can make your own mind up as to where you would wear them but there's going to be some gym looks some more like cash low intensity uh kind of active wear looks and then some that are basically like if you wanted to go from kind of gym to brunch that style thing and i've got like coats and everything so obviously it's very very chilly right now and the majority of us are experiencing colder weather right now so i thought that would be really helpful because let's face it we all know how to wear a sports top and leggings there's nothing groundbreaking about that so i thought i'd do with like the whole shebang uh for you guys today so i hope you guys enjoy it so outfit number one with each of these outfits i'm gonna add a layer as i kind of talk you through the outfit i thought this would be the best way to show you everything rather than me having the full outfit on and then having to like take bits off so with this outfit i'm starting off with a nike sports bra my beloved h&m leggings which are so so old now and then my nike trainers these are my standard trainers for whenever i go to the gym the nike sports bras just a heads up they run very small so size up i did not and uh, this is a struggle to get on. But they do come with padding in them, which is great. And the plus side of them running small is that your boobs just literally do not move. So yeah, this is the base of my outfit. Then I've thrown on an old crop top. This is one from Pretty Little Thing. I do tend to reuse some of my lounge wear that's like a little bit older and worse for wear for gym stuff sometimes. I don't like to spend too much on gym wear too often. I literally make maybe one or two purchases uh, a year really a couple of tops at the beginning of the year a couple of tops like halfway through but that's literally it and this one is a great one it has this little kind of knot i don't think you can actually see there so it has this little knot and it means it has this dip and it's just quite flattering and i really like it so i wear this one a lot this outfit is actually taken from an old igtv video that i did which was gym to brunch outfits so i will link that it's more of a summer one so if you're in a warmer climate or you're just looking for some more like summery gym inspiration for whatever reason i will link that because honestly it's one of my favorite styling videos i've ever done and it didn't get the love that it deserved quite honestly so i will link that below for you i'm trying not to take from that video too much today but there will be a couple of outfits that have been taken from that that are in some cases like on more mild winter days they're a little bit more appropriate but yeah so this is my next layer and then we have my hoodie which i've tied around my waist those of you who have seen my stories from the summer will remember that i used to do this all the time basically on days when i knew i was going to the gym and it was really warm and it was going to be cold when i came out like that kind of early evening time i love doing this i just love having a hoodie wrapped around my waist it's great for if you're not sure about the weather but you know you're going to need to throw something on like an extra layer and coats work really well even if you have something tied around your waist it still kind of looks okay so i quite like that vibe so i've thrown it around my waist but i'll show you what it looks like on as well and with a coat thrown on over this this is what it looks like with the hoodie actually on very basic nice and easy and then to add another layer i have thrown on this coat this is from all saints it's very tailored and quite long but i think it actually works really really nicely with my gym stuff quite a lot of the time because it almost like smartens it up and it also isn't too bulky either which i really really like fits the hoodie underneath really well this hoodie uh is quite a thin one it's not too chunky so it does fit really nicely underneath a coat and that is my advice for like if you're wearing hoodies to the gym and you want to layer up is just make sure it's not too much of a bulky hoodie if you're wearing a hoodie on its own go for whatever you want but yeah this is outfit number one complete all black so i know it's going to be really hard for you guys to see i even moved my mirror to try and make it easier for you guys to see today but uh i don't think it's working out for me if i'm honest but it's definitely an easy way to look pulled together uh in your gym wear all black always outfit number two the base that i'm wearing is from asos it has this like tie up bit on the boobs and crutch basically i really like this one i think in terms of like the shape of the crop top it's very very flattering the leggings don't hold me in as much as i would love for them to but yeah they're still really cute and i like the fact that they are kind of tie up they're very very stretchy so if you wanted to go for brunch after they are great for eating and my current like bloated Ness. they're just great really really love them so i'm wearing those and then my nike trainers again and with this one on a milder day i would just throw on my big 
kind of puffy coat i think it looks really cute the puffy coats are great because they do like right up to your chin and they're so super warm you can also throw a hoodie on with it as well which i will show you so this is what the hoodie and coat look like together it's quite a bulky look which is why i wouldn't wear these with trackies i very rarely wear trackies because a lot of my coats and things are very oversized or a little bit baggy and i do think that having leggings on the bottom just really helps to show some kind of silhouette and some shape but yeah this is super warm so it's such a great one for if it's cold if it's raining you've got a hood i really really love this and i really rate this jacket this is from zara my hoodie is from all saints and what i like to do with this one as well is throw on a pair of sunglasses with it and a little crossbody bag because what it does is it kind of cinches in your waist and back a little bit so i'll show you that now so this is the look with the bag and the sunglasses i really like this look i wore this but with leather look leggings yesterday and my normal nike air max 97 trainers i wore that uh, just out for coffee with friends so it's a really nice one for if you want to look just like quite cash but you also don't want to be like screaming i've just been to the gym the bag is from fendi in case anyone's wondering i feel like they still do this i will link it if they do and the sunglasses are Givenchy. Yeah, it's cute. I just love this jacket so much. It's such a staple in my wardrobe right now. So for outfit number three, I have the same base that I've thrown on this hoodie. Um, I like having this crop on underneath because it's a little bit longer and this hoodie is very, very cropped. So I think if you don't want too much skin on show, then that's definitely something to consider is just having a longer crop on. There are also active wear like bodies that exist if you didn't want anything on show at all, but still wanted it to be quite tight. I would definitely recommend looking into that. I used to have an Ivy Park one. I'll try and find something like that. It was long sleeved. It was really great actually i loved it so yeah definitely something to consider if you don't want any of your stomach on show but you don't want something like loose and baggy that you have to tuck or even like a vest top that's like fitted but you don't you just want it to be like quite seamless but anyway this hoodie i love it's an old one from pretty little thing i believe but it comes up really high on the neck and i like that a lot for winter because it just keeps you a little bit warmer the hood sits like quite flush to your neck especially if you pull these strings it just works really nicely and i love the way it looks the way it sits it's just really sweet so yeah i've thrown that on and then i'm gonna throw a denim jacket on with it to kind of give some length to this silhouette but also i think the denim and the brown go really well together so this is what it looks like with the denim jacket on it just covers you up a little bit more and you could add a scarf a hat all of that if you wanted to i actually don't like to layer up too much when i go to the gym just because when i leave it normally means me carrying about a million layers because i'm really really warm by the time that i leave so i like to just kind of suck it up going there and then i'm perfect temperature coming home and i don't have to carry too much but yeah i really like this look i love the denim and the brown it looks very relaxed and doesn't look too much like you're going to the gym really you could also swap this one out for some different trainers like air max 97 something that's not so gym like if you were going to do more of a class where you don't have proper shoes on so like yoga that kind of thing where lots of people predominantly wouldn't necessarily have shoes on then you could swap it out for something like that and then it would look very ungym like okay outfit number i think this is number four you will probably see this top and this bottom combo a lot throughout this video it's one that i love the top is from girlfriend collective i got it off net porter which it wasn't too extortionate considering the retailer that i bought it off of same kind of pricing as gymshark and stuff like that i believe and the h&m leggings i just love them so much and you'll notice that i do rewear my gym stuff a lot you'll already know this if you watch my vlogs or watch my stories but i think it's important to know like don't feel like you have to have a ton of gym wear especially if you're just starting out like i have a fair bit of gym wear but i've been collecting it over a number of years most of it isn't in stock anymore because i've had it for that long and i'd rather just have a few really good pieces of gym wear that i feel really really good in rather than just have loads and loads of gym wear i do have a few more pieces recently because i've been working with asos so i feel like i just want to mention that they asked me to pick out some pieces for a completely separate piece of work this isn't sponsored by them in any way but i just like the pieces and you would hope if i was working with them that i did like them so um yeah i thought i wear them in this video because i really like them and i like the fit but anyway i digress this is the base of this outfit i love the girlfriend collective tops they just have the most flattering fit i really really love them so yeah would highly recommend to have it in white and in black the black because black dye makes items shrink the black is a little bit tighter so i would say if you're kind of in between or you're just not sure to size down in the white the black fits me like perfectly i got this in a small but the white i could have done with like sizing down i've just had to make the straps on the white one really tight but it has a bit of like looseness here whereas the black is just like 
perfect. So yeah, that's just my thoughts on sizing. Anyway, I'm gonna throw on a little like throw on sheer jumper over this, just as a like extra layering piece if you want it, because I know some people run very cold compared to me. I'm gonna be sweating it out by the time I finish this video. But um, yeah, I've got a few layers for you to work with on this one, but it's a look that I love. So this is the top that I've chosen. Hi, I thought I'd show you how I tie it. So I literally like twirl this and then loop it, put my thumb in the middle and then tuck and follow through where my thumb was, like that, and then pull through. It's just like a really simple knot, and it just cinches you in quite nicely. You could also tuck if you wanted to. So this top is from ASOS. I really love this one. It's a lovely nude color, and it's very, very sheer. Just has the ASOS logo on it in like a little neon uh, kind of tone. This is definitely one that I could only really wear in the summer. I wore this the other day and I was on the treadmill and I just thought because it's so lightweight it would be a really great one to throw on over. Uh, one of my more like revealing sports bras. I was just having one of those days where I was like, nah, I'm just gonna cover up. But I was sweating in it. So if you run very cold and you're not doing any kind of like workouts that really make you sweat, then this is a great one for you. But if you run very hot and you sweat at like the smallest thing, I would not recommend this, but it does look very cute. So it's a good one for kind of wearing to and from, but for those that sweat a lot more, you do not want to wear this whilst doing any form of activity because you will die. Anyway. So yeah, that is my kind of first layer for those of us that want some layers in our wardrobe. This is the second layer. It's a hoodie from Zara Men's. I've stolen this out of Ryan's wardrobe. This is the Still Your Boyfriend's hoodie look. It's really nice and oversized and it's just great because I did not have a grey hoodie, but I really wanted one for this look. So yeah, that's what we're working with. And then I have thrown on a blazer. This is a really old one from Forever 21. I'll try and link something similar. I'm sure ASOS will have something. But yeah, I really like the way the hoodie comes lower than the blazer and the sleeves pop out and I've paired this with my Nike Air Max 97s. You could go for a proper pair of gym trainers. It all depends on what workout you're doing really. This is a great one for when you actually have to be somewhere after the gym though and you just don't want to look a bit disheveled which is quite honestly how I look most of the time after the gym. But yeah it's a really nice look. I really like having a hoodie and a blazer on together. You could go for a black hoodie if you didn't want to be so obvious about the fact that you've got a hoodie on underneath. I think black on black kind of works quite nicely together and you've got your layer on underneath so this isn't actually going to be too cold obviously certain climates like if it's snowing where you are this ain't gonna work but um yeah for more mild weather this is great and uh yeah i like the chunky trainers on with it i just think it breaks it up a bit makes it look quite casual but also not too jimmy Jimmy. That is a new term, Jimmy. I thought I'd throw this next one in there for a little bit of variety and for those of you who love wearing shorts even in the winter, I see you guys at the gym. I think you're mad but I'm also assuming that you don't walk there and even if you do I respect that because it's cold and you're made of stronger stuff than I am. But anyway, I thought I'd show you these shorts. I really like them. They are longer at the back. They also have a little side split and then slightly shorter at the front and they just have the nicest shape to them. They're from ASOS. They're part of the kind of ASOS own sports range and I love them. They're really, really cute. They're like perfect length at the back. Really, really cute at the front. I love them so much. I love the base of this and I thought I'd show it to you even if you are in the UK or in a colder climate where you're not interested in wearing shorts right now, but you're going on maybe a warm vacation and kind of thinking about whether you'll work out on vacation, anything like that. I'm one of those people I know it's not cute, but yeah. I really like taking a pair of shorts and trainers and like a crop top away on holiday with me. So for those of you that were kind of thinking about that, I would definitely recommend these shorts and with this crop top, which is the same one as before. It's the Girlfriend Collective one. I just think the fit of these two works so nicely together. So I like the pairing of these. And then for a jacket, I'd probably throw on like a denim jacket or something like that. So this is what it looks like if you needed a jacket for whatever reason and you just wanted a light one. I think denim works really, really nicely with gym wear and kind of makes it not look like gym wear at all really. But you could also pair the black puffer jacket with it if you are in the UK and just really wanted to wear shorts, but you also want to wear a coat all about that balance, you know. This is what it looks like with the puffer jacket. I think if you did want to wear shorts for whatever reason and it is a little bit chillier, this is definitely the one top. For this for. next outfit, I have switched the top out. This is the white 
girlfriend collective top that I have and you can see what I mean about it just being a little bit looser and I'm pretty sure that is because of the dye you generally tend to find differences like that between the black item and then every other color in a range of something but yeah I have that on same H&M leggings I actually have quite a few pairs of these so <laughs> this is quite realistic for me in terms of what I would wear over the course of a week in active wear <laughs> basically just these the layers I'm just throwing on one jacket and I tend to do this a lot because I just want to get in the gym throw my coat in a locker and then like do my stuff and get out I don't want to faff with changing um, especially I live quite close so this is probably the most realistic one for me personally but then I know a lot of people would want to add layers to this so each their own if I was going to throw anything on with this it would probably be like a t-shirt or a cropped jumper um, in a neutral colour just because of the white crop I wouldn't want to get like black fleece or anything like that on this. So this is the jacket and I know I probably look like a big ugly marshmallow but I love this jacket so much it's so so warm. I have this in a medium it's from All Saints they actually sent it to me and they sent it in a medium and I really could have done with a small so what I like to do is throw on my Fendi bag again crossbody because it kind of just like cinches it in or if I'm wearing this not as like not with like gym wear and I'm not wearing just like a crop top underneath it then I would probably wear it a little bit more open I think it works really really nicely with a lot of different outfits like I'll wear this with a jumper and then leather look leggings and some boots and it works really really nicely with that as well I also think it kind of looks quite cool when you're just like running in and out of the gym from your car and you're just like yeah just like throw this on but yeah let's be real most of us don't do that so most of the time I do this like the whole way up and I'm like running to the gym like this and I have my Fendi bag across and I'll show you what that looks like I really do recommend crossbody bags for if you want to cinch something in especially big coats like this in the winter it's really ideal this is the full look bag just cinches it in really nicely and uh as usual I have shades on because let's face it most of the time if it's not dark I wear them to the gym because I'm like nobody look at me I'm a sweaty mess don't talk to me this outfit has the same base but it's definitely one that is more of a weekend I've just gone and done some yoga and now I'm mainly here for the coffee or the juice kind of look it's also one that I will love so much as we go into warmer months you will see me probably wearing this quite a bit so I have this Zara jacket on it's very very lightweight but perfect if you're like going from your car to somewhere that is very warm and you just kind of want to look cute and throw something on after the gym but like I said I'm predominantly going to get more use out of this as we go into the warmer months but I wanted to include this anyway because I think it's really cute and I will probably forget about it by the summer and I won't be doing active wear looks in the summer so much so yeah I thought I'd show you this one I've got the same trainers on as before but I'll show you what it looks like with the Nike Air Max trainers and then I've also on my same bag i use this bag all the time for the gym because it's just the easiest bag that i own it always has a gym padlock in it because i use it that much that and a pair of headphones my go-to's so yeah i love this outfit i think it's so cute i love having something cropped on with a crop top and leggings i just think it looks really really cute and it's one of those easy ways to very quickly dress up um a gym outfit so yeah cute jackets they're the one this is what it looks like with the white trainers if your gym trainers were also white this would be ideal it always really annoys me that mine are black i must put it on my list at some point when i have some spare money to throw it that i need white or cream or a lighter color a running trainer but yeah if yours are white then great or if you want to take some shoes to change into which i sometimes do then this would also make a really cute outfit and you don't look too much like you've just come from the gym so yeah i think this is one of my favorites i think the next one as well is going to be a slightly lighter one you can throw coats on with these as well like the big black puffer jacket you could throw it on with this and then have this on when you're actually like at wherever you want to be after the gym that would work really well as well so yeah just dress up or down depending on your preferences but yeah, everyone that loves a pair of cycle shorts this next look is really cute i've just thrown on this little uh kind of like sports bra type thing that i have from marks and spencers i believe the cycle shorts are really really old from pretty little thing and to be honest there are better quality ones out there these are really really thin and don't kind of like do anything for me if i'm very very honest but they're really cute and i really like them for layering so this look is in two parts one with a longer jumper one with a shorter one and i've kind of taken it from last summer's igtv video this and the earlier outfit i just really wanted to steal from there because i really really love them i've thrown on my white trainers just because i think white chunky trainers really work very nicely with cycle short my black ones look fine but i just prefer this look so yeah do whatever you need to do for your footwear for whatever exercise you're doing or if you're not doing any exercise at all these are great for the first part of this look i've gone with a crop jumper this one is a recent purchase from asos my pretty little thing one was getting very very bobbly and old so i decided to 
get a new one and this one is like lovely and the quality is actually much better so I will link it in the info box I like this because if you like raise your arm you sometimes get a little flash of purple and I think that's kind of cute so yeah you also get a tiny bit of waist in this but not too much and I really really like that so this is part one of the outfit if you prefer to wear something cropped but if you don't then don't worry I've got you covered this jumper like I don't I didn't think we were ever going to get through this video without me throwing a sweatshirt in at some point because I just love them this one is such an old favorite of mine now that it's going very very bobbly like I wear it all the time it goes in the wash at least once a week and <laughs> it's um definitely some better days it's from a brand called cole and terry and they no longer make this i think it might have something to do with the fact that this logo and this logo illegally are never meant to be seen together which i did say in a video and then it suddenly disappeared off the website um so maybe i shouldn't have said that but yeah i love this jumper so much i'll link some nice sweaters in the info box below if you want some inspo yeah i love this one i sized up i think so it's nice and like slouchy and i just find it flows quite nicely and hits just at the right point like I just really love the way it looks this is one of my favorite summer gym looks uh, it's just very very easy very casual and like I said you can throw on the black puffer jacket with this from earlier I think that would look really really cute with this if you want a little bit of extra warmth and going into summer if you still want a jacket a denim jacket works really really nicely with this as well on its own still really cute if you're like a driver or whatever and you don't really need to throw on a coat on your way to the gym then this is one that i would highly recommend i always feel so so nice and so comfy in this and uh i think that is the last outfit Woo! i've definitely talked for so long that my lipstick is starting to like fall off my face i hope you enjoyed this video sorry if i i feel like i repeated the whole like for your climate do what works right for you blah 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 but i do feel like when i do styling videos in the winter i have learned i need to be extra like clear in my communication because otherwise people get a bit like antsy so hopefully this gave you some inspiration and there's something that you can take away from this video if nothing else i hope you enjoyed seeing my little mug again but yeah that is going to be it from me today if you would like to see any other styling videos please pop them in the comments below i would love to have a read and see what you would like this was definitely like one that lots of you were kind of shouting at me for and have been for a very long time so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you want to know anything about my fitness routine that kind of thing i've done a video on it and it hasn't really changed if i'm very honest i still am just on the cardio every day weights just kind of like once twice a week so i will link a previous video that i've talked about it in in the info box below but yeah i'm gonna go now and stop chatting and i hope you all have a lovely day goodbye